Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video we're going to be effectively doubling or at least increasing your T-Mobile 4G speeds on your iPhone 5. Now this is a hack that basically allows your iPhone to opt out from choosing the optimized tower to choosing the fastest tower in your area. And almost everyone using T-Mobile on an iPhone 5 or 4S should have gotten a carrier update that actually you know allowed you to get that 4G symbol on your iPhone, but in turn it also did decrease the speeds on your iPhone 5. So this is actually a very easy thing to do. You do not need to be jailbroken and this will work on any iOS 6 firmware and it will only work on an iPhone 5. So if you have a 4S, sorry, you're out of luck. This will not work for you. Okay, so you know you want to make sure your iPhone is plugged in and you're going to want to go ahead and navigate to that link down below in the description. It'll take you to my website where you can download the hacked carrier file. So go ahead and do that now. Now, sadly, I can't actually show you the 4G speeds running on my iPhone, the difference, and that's because I don't actually have data or unlimited data on my iPhone. Uh, my friend has done it, and trust me, it works. And I'll walk you through the process. It's very simple. Now, this does work great with a hotspot feature, and yes, this does work with unlimited data, so that's a big bonus. You get the fastest speeds, and this works in you know all areas of America. Anyways, your file is actually going to look just like this, so you want to make sure that is downloaded. And let's go ahead and head over to our iPhone open up settings now real quick in iTunes you want to go ahead and select backup now just in case you know I'm not saying anything's gonna go wrong but you want to back up your iPhone and save all of your data in case you do something wrong and you know you need to back it up now this won't remove any of your data so don't worry about that this is just a precautionary measure okay so with your iPhone backed up we're gonna go into settings you're gonna go to general scroll down to reset and we're gonna reset all network settings right there your iPhone will automatically reboot. This will take just a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Now we're back to the computer and your iPhone should actually be rebooted by now. You wanna make sure you only selected the network reset, not anything else. Anyways, this does work on Mac and Windows, but the codes or the CMD or terminal prompts are slightly different, so you'll wanna make note of that. Anyways, I am doing this on a Mac computer. As you guys can see, you wanna go ahead and open up terminal. On Windows, that's CMD, so you wanna hit the Windows key and R and it'll open up your you know command prompt. Anyways, once you guys are inside, there will be this this text down below in the description and we want to go ahead and select it now for me that is this one right here you're gonna copy and paste it into the command prompt and select enter and as soon as you select enter you are done now on a Windows computer you're actually gonna to want to select this first part right here if you can't copy it, you're gonna to want to you know put it in manually and then you click enter on that and then type in the second part now it's very simple, you know, not much to it, but once you do get those two things in, and it does vary from 64-bit to 32-bit, anyways, you're gonna go ahead and close out of your command prompt. Now you wanna open up iTunes and actually quit out of it, so quit, make sure it's really closed, and then go ahead and open it. Now if you guys aren't on the latest version like me, just click cancel. Now hold the option on your keyboard if you're on a Mac, or shift if you're on Windows, and select update, or check for update, whichever one it will be and you want to navigate to wherever your carrier file is. For me, that's on my desktop. Go ahead and select open. It's going to update your carrier settings and boom, that's it. So as soon as that's done, we're heading back to our iPhone. You want to go ahead and reboot it real quick. So power it off and I'll be right back. Now, just as an example, here's actually a before and after speed test, before and after this hack, before this one guy had 8.6 megabeeps, and then after 14.29. So there's quite a difference there. Now, this may not work for everyone, and I completely understand that, because it's all about location. I mean, you may have strong towers in your area, and your iPhone with this hack will revert to them. If not, you guys can't always go back. And to do that, all you have to do is follow this exact video, but in the end, use the official care your file and I will make sure to include that down below in the description you know just in case you guys do not see a difference and want to go back it's very simple anyways guys I hope you do enjoy your faster carrier speeds on your iPhone 5 you know if this method does come out for a 4s I will post a video but for now it is only iPhone 5 thanks for all of your guys' support I really appreciate it anyways guys have a great day peace